on Goma with the recent fighting in and around the city. UNHCR is extremely concerned about the situation of displaced people uh, in North Kivu in particular, especially children uh, and other vulnerable groups. Normally, we work in 31 displaced camps in North Kivu, hosting um, just over 108,000 people. The fighting has meant that we and our partners have not been able to access most of these areas. Only Mugunga 3, just outside Goma, uh, can currently be visited. Our protection monitors are reporting many incidents of violence affecting civilians. In Goma, there have been uh, reports of 60 assaults on civilians. Uh, to our partners, uh, our partners are telling us eight people have been killed and, as you've heard, uh, houses and shops looted. M23 has apparently grown significantly in, in numbers over the past days and there are other armed groups operating in the area um, which raises the likelihood of, of recruitment of children, particularly those children who've already been recruited and separated from armed groups. Many of the displaced come from other camps and villages where there was previously cholera. Um, before the crisis started, there were already 27,000 cases of cholera reported in the country. Running water in Goma has just been restored. It had been shut off for over a week. Um, and there are huge numbers of children collecting water from Lake Kivu, which obviously raises the risks of disease uh, spreading. In and around Goma, there's alleged killing of four civilians, including a pregnant woman and a baby, and wounding of at least 50 other civilians during armed clashes between the FARDC and the MT3. Uh, that was between the 18th and the 20th of November. In Sake, um, which is about 20 kilometers west of Goma, the alleged killing of at least five women and the wounding of at least 17 civilians during fighting between the two groups, M23 and the government forces. Les actions concrètes sur terrain. Nous voulons que le M23, les troupes rwandaises et les troupes ougandaises quittent, quittent le Goma. Notre Nous pays. voulons que la communauté internationale enlève l'embargo sur la République démocratique du Congo. Nous 